Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I'm Mickey D, and we're here in Donna Hills just doing a little bit more exploring. Um, I went over here to get Imatai as a master, uh, this little house here, and um, you know, I apprenticed him under Ryu. Um, and then I checked out this this little checkpoint place. Uh, I was telling you guys earlier, you know, you will never get past this place. I have no idea. There's been so many rumors about how you can get past it. Um, a little fishing spot there. And how, you know, there's secret shops and, and secret towns over there. And, uh, you know, just all this stuff, man. And you cannot get past it. It's, it's a real shame. I wish the developers... Um, would have made you been able to get past it. Anyways, we got this new place called Sin City, famous for its black market in illicit goods. So we're definitely gonna check this place out. Really, really cool place. Uh, Sin City is probably one of my favorite cities. Um, one of the dialogues that I will show you is this. What is that supposed to entail, man? That is bad. That's really bad. I can't believe I, I was like nine years old reading that stuff, man. Prostitution in video games? That's bad. Anyways, um, I don't have any any uh, money, as you guys see here. Um, but the shops I just wanted to show you guys. The shops, in case you didn't waste your money like I did on those really, really buff weapons at Junktown, you do have some options here. Um, specifically, light clothing. The light clothing, when it's paired with the uh, feather sword, huge agility increase, just for those who want to know. Not so great on the defense. I mean, it's 16, and, you know, I, I tend to get this silver mail from both my people. Steel gauntlets are really good. Great weight and defense ratio. And, uh, but anyways, you know, I just thought I'd point that out. So, if you guys do have any extra money, um, d and, and didn't go wasting it on, uh, the, the super powered up items, definitely pick up some stuff over there. But, uh, trust me, that's not the only time we'll be going to Sin City. Sin City will be open to us, uh, for a good, you know, two hours or so into the game. But I guess, uh, you know, aside from fishing, the only other place we can go to is this place, Ogre Road. So, that's where we're headed. Um, I should also say, I should mention that over there in Donna Hills, the you can get into random battles if you'd like to level up and everything like that. Um, they have this enemy, a Goo Titan, and it's important to know that you can steal from the Goo Titan a HP uh, gain item, life shards. Um, he also has a, a pretty good drop ratio of um, a weapon called the Protectors. And I think you definitely would like to charm him to pick those up. Protectors are really, really strong. Uh, you don't get them till way later in the game. And so, you know, if you guys do run into the, this guy, um, definitely pick those items up. Life shards and protectors. And speaking of which, I also forgot something. Um, you know what? I'm going to hold off on Ogre Road for a little bit because I just realized for some reason it's just hitting me. The largest mini game in the game has come up. Sorry, side quest. Let's check up on the fairies. And for those that have played the game, they know what I'm entailing. They know what I'm trying to get at. The fairy village has become open to us. You remember those fairies? Those annoying little fairies? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What'd that say? I checked this little thing. It says population change. You know, three fairies gave birth. What does that mean to you? All right, man. Y you talk to this girl, Cadis, and she's like the leader of the fairies or something. So she asks us what we've been doing up until now. You're just a big meanie, blah, 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 blah. Um, if, if you leave them alone, they're going to die, all this crap. Here's the thing, man. The fairy village is pretty much a side quest. You don't have to put time into it. or And if you do, you can get great rewards. Great, 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 great rewards. Some of the most game-breaking items you can get through this little side quest. Um, I think I will tell you... I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> Anyways, I could have gone through the little tutorial to, for, for her to tell us how to do stuff. I already know how to do it, obviously. I'm going to put these guys in hunting. And, and basically, I'll try to do as, as good of an uh, explanation about this stuff as best as I can. It goes like this. 
Alright, uh, you got your red bar, your green bar, your blue, and your light blue. The red bar has to do with hunting. As you can see there, because, you know, the right bar flashes, the red bar flashes. Uh, you can also clear land, and when you clear land, you can build buildings. Right now, there's only one building open. You know, that little house to our right? So therefore, we have one building here. And you get these little jobs that you can make them do. Um, you know, basically, the only job that's open to us right now are uh, developing new jobs in culture. So I'm actually going to develop culture. <clears throat> that's how I normally like to start out because your culture level will actually as the culture level gets higher uh, the easier the faster your fairy village will develop and basically the red bar is hunting and to hunt you need you need food for your fairies to eat so I'm actually gonna throw her uh, pooch in the scholar area so that she can work on culture and everything like that the other two um, you know I'm just gonna place in hunting because I don't have a very big village I only have three people right now um, my best insight that I can give to you right now like I said just do it like me um, spend a little time on culture and have at least uh, at least 30 percent of your people hunting for food that's that's a big thing if you don't your fairies will die um, and the better the hunting, the uh, the better hunting bar, the more food they're going to get per fairy. So, you know, this one's really good. Instead of clearing area right now to build buildings, I'm just going to focus on culture for now. And then, hopefully, with any luck, I can get some fairies. Uh, some, some more fairies born into the village, and, you know, I can use them and uh, put them through little little jobs and training and stuff like that. Basically, how the fairy village works is that... Well, I'll give you an example. I'm going to go into some random battle. The The fairy village works based off of how many battles you get into. For example, I'm going to get into one battle here. Uh, you know, it's a it's a goo titan. And, you know, I'm going to just just end this battle. Um, you know, try and... You, don't gotta, you guys don't got to watch this. I'm just going to steal HP shards and, and hopefully charm him. So, anyways, I'll kill him real quick. So, after I've killed one one guy, uh, you know, I've already been to one battle, um, basically, I don't even know why I'm really doing this for you guys, <laughs> this sounds silly, but, um, the more y battles you fight, the more the fairy village will progress, um, what I mean that by, by that is that, you know, I've only gone through one fight, so it's not going to progress pretty much anything, however, come back and say, you know, ten fights, get a little new person here, the Vagabond, um, you, you know, you come back in 10 fights or so, there's probably going to be some progression. You know, you come back after you've, um, you've done some plot things and you've, uh, you've advanced in the plot, uh, th there's going to be some advancement, advancements in your fairy village. So, you know, it, it kind of goes based off of that. You know, if, if I were to fight, you know, like I said, 30, 30 battles, the, the fairy village is definitely going to advance. Um, so... What I would say, uh, my advice to you, if you do want to go into the fairy village, because um, I, I will be doing it, I'm not going to use all the game-breaking techniques, but um, if you do want to get into this fairy village, I would say go into it every 15 to 20 battles, or every time you advance with the plot every so often. Anyways, finally we get back to Ogre Road here. And let's see if we can uh, see what's up over here. There's supposed to be a ferocious monster here, so let's see if we can run into him. Got some more Vagabonds here. If you guys remember these guys, they're a lot like the uh, uh, the soldiers that were over at McNeil's Mare, the, the village, the, the manor. So, you know, they're just like souped up versions of him. Not very strong. The random encounters uh, after you've grown up for right now, uh, they're pretty easy. I mean, you're, you're normally hitting the, the levels of like 23 to 24, like where I'm at. You know, if you're not, you're probably level like 20 to 21 for a low level. You know, at that level, random encounters are no biggie. So anyways, I'm just going to keep running into here. There are a couple enemy skills I want to pick up, so I'll definitely be doing that. Probably most likely be picking up uh, those at the end of the, uh, probably next episode or so. You can cut these little things here. You see how there's like little driplets underneath these bushes? It's because they are horseradish. 
Um, these will not be used till much later in the game, but good to know. You definitely want to keep keep on. Uh, you definitely want to remember this. Do we got anybody new here? Oh, I do have some new people. I got some slashers. Um, they have some. All of these enemies actually have items that I want to pick up. Uh, also, they have s enemy skills I want to pick up. So what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm going to most likely end the clip after this fight. I'm first gonna hit the Goo Titan. Or actually, I want to steal from the Goo Titan. Um, I'm just gonna steal from the Goo Titan, and I'm gonna charm everybody here, specifically the Slashers. The Slashers drop a Swallow Eye. It's a one in... let me check my notes here, actually. It is... come on, where's my notes? It's a one in 128 chance for him to actually pick up the, the Swallow Eye, but by using you know, charm there, it's gonna be 1 in 64. So, you know, I'm gonna do it just because and everything like that. Another thing is, obviously, they have the enemy skills that I was talking about. It's called Mind Flay. I think they used it a little bit ago. Um, but anyways, you know, I'm just gonna charm these guys, and I'm gonna kill them, and I'm gonna learn the uh, enemy skills. So, you guys don't have to watch that, and I'll just fast forward and everything like that. Well, I gotta tell you, that attempt was completely fruitless. I, um, ended up just wasting everybody based off of reprisals because of the fact that Ryu's at point position, and when you're at point position, I figured out that, um, you get f uh, a 100% increase in your reprisals, so Ryu normally has an 8% chance, now he's hitting with 16. So, everyone's hitting Ryu, and he's just reprisaling like crazy. Yeah, because he's repricing so often, it's a little bit difficult to uh, learn learn the enemy skills. So probably gonna just pick that up another time. You can pick up this treasure chest here. It's got an amazing item in it: hourglass, one of the most broken items in the game. The hourglass, if I remember correctly, let's look at it. Stops all but user, all user. Uh, sorry, sorry. Stops everyone except the user for three turns. So, the reason why I say it's broken is that, think about if Ryu used that. And you just did, you know, it stops everybody for three turns. That means he gets three turns, man. So he can do, like, you know, Hourglass, and then his next turn. Last Resort, Focus, Focus, and then he can do, like, Shadow Walk, which is, you know, my strongest physical attack. And that's going to do huge damage. It's just going to be stupid. So you definitely want to use that hourglass for for uh, a boss battle or something like that. Let's see. I think there's one more item I want to pick up. Sorry for, um, you know, moving at such a slow pace and everything like that. Let's just kill these slashers. These guys are kind of annoying. I really do want to learn that mind flay. It's a really crappy skill. It's just like snap. It rarely ever works. But definitely want to learn it. So I'm actually just gonna, you know what, I, I think that I'm just gonna go through this. I, I don't believe there's any good items to really pick up here. Oh, actually, one on the hill, I remember. I think there's something up at this hill. Nope, I'm wrong, yet again. Well, anyways, we're coming up on time here, so let's see if we can... Whoa, what's going on here? Okay. So... There's something leaping from tree to tree, and it's a tiger! So, this must be the monster that they were warning us about at Dawn of Mine. Alright, man, well, we're gonna fight this guy. Um, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna fight him next time. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and um, next time we're gonna take out this weird tiger and exit Ogre Road. Later, guys!